Hi, I'm Corey Deers, and I'm a software engineer at Google. I work on a developer library called Blockly, which makes it easy to build block programming experiences. In this video, we'll cover what Blockly is and how to use it in your app. Blockly includes all the pieces needed for defining and rendering blocks in a drag and drop editor. Each block represents a bit of code that a user can easily snap together like puzzle pieces. Typically, the Blockly UI includes a workspace where users assemble their code and a toolbox where they can get new blocks. The library then generates syntactically correct code in the language of your choice. Blocks are a fun way for users to interact with code. Blockly can be used with physical devices like robotics, toys, or home automation, or entirely digital applications like animation, teaching programming, or even video games. Anything you can code with text, you can code with blocks. But Blockly itself isn't a language. The code generated by the blocks still needs to be run somewhere. For that, there are several options. Blockly includes generators for JavaScript, Lua, Python, Dart, or PHP. So anything that can be run on one of these languages can run the generated code. Developers have also created their own generators for other languages, including some non-programming languages like legal documents or music notation. So now that you have an idea of what Blockly is, we'll talk a bit more about how to use it. The basic steps are add the library to your app, design your blocks and write code generators for them, test and iterate. Blockly has libraries for web, iOS, and Android, so you can add it to your app no matter which platform you're targeting. Check the description for links to the developer docs. They include in-depth setup instructions for each platform. Once you've got the demo blocks working, it's time to build some blocks of your own. The Blockly developer tools provides a UI for creating and trying out blocks. If you prefer, blocks can also be defined in JSON. Be sure to consider your audience carefully when designing your blocks. For example, a block that reads repeat five times may be more understandable for a novice than a block that reads for int i equals zero, i less than five, i plus plus. The developer tools can also define which blocks are shown in the toolbox and can be used for quick prototypes. Speaking of prototypes, don't forget about user testing. If you've designed your blocks in the developer tools, you can try out the look and feel or even print them to use in a paper prototype. It's always hard to know when users will run into trouble. So testing blocks out early is critical to a successful app. You can even start testing before you've written any code. There's a lot more that can be done with Blockly than we have time for in this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out the links in the description or subscribe to our mailing list, blockly at googlegroups.com. Thanks for watching.